What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about something I hardly ever do, which is a newborn session. I don't do your classic kind of newborn sessions like wrapping babies up and things and putting them in baskets. It's just not my vibe and I don't really do it. Nothing against those people that do it, I just personally don't enjoy it. Mine is more about just spending time with the family and taking photos of them how they naturally would. So today we have a little two week old baby. It's quite a funny story. I was shooting a wedding over a year ago now and I swear I recognized the guy that was driving the car for the bridal party and it turns out we'd been mates like 20 years ago we used to run around having fun causing havoc when we were young teenagers and uh, we just didn't put two and two together so uh, after the reception at that wedding we figured it out and uh, we had a good time we're going to go over the photos and I'm just going to let you guys know what I was thinking when I was taking the photos all of the photos were taken with this monster here the 35mm 1.2 Sigma and the A7R Mark III uh, you guys know I just switched, well I haven't switched because I'm still using my 24, I'm not planning on selling it at all, I'm filming on it right now. I tend to go all in when I buy something new, I want to really put it through its paces, see how I like it. One thing I really did want to comment on just before I get into these photos is one of my major complaints with the 35 1.2 was the size and the weight of it. Uh, I've been quite spoilt with Sony over the last few years shooting with the 24 and the 55. They're really small lenses, small cameras, and it's just been a really lightweight combo. But the 35mm 1.2 is much heavier. But I did notice when I was using my dual camera harness, uh, the weight didn't seem to be an issue because you can just let it go, let them hang down and you know all the weight was off. It's more when I'm using it in this scenario just with one camera, one lens and you've got to hold it by the grip all the time, that's when you kind of notice the front heaviness of it. But in terms of optics it is pretty amazing. So. Let's get straight into the photos. So when they asked me what we were going to do, I just said I was just going to come around and take some photos of them. Uh, just dress however you feel comfortable. And uh, yeah, we don't need any extra things. We're just going to hang out and take some photos. So straight off the bat, I just jumped in and we took a few photos of Rivers just sleeping here. They had a really awesome house, so it was just a really great place to photograph as well. I'll put some before and afters up, but uh, the preset I was using was just CTM3 like I usually do. I did in some of the photos just lower the saturation of the orange, just because there was so much of that really bright, rich uh, wood on the roof and on the walls. So. Uh, some of the photos I had to lower the orange saturation a little bit as well. So after taking a few photos of him just sleeping, uh, Mama got him up and we just kind of hung out. It was, it's really, I go about it like it's just a normal day and you just do whatever you would. So if you got to change him, change him. If you want to feed him, feed him. And uh, she went through all that process. He got a little bit upset. I was underexposing by quite a bit because the window was so bright. The sun was coming right through it. Uh, but I specifically said I'll come around at that time because I knew it would look pretty awesome. Sam didn't want to be in a whole lot of photos. So um, when she was just standing there and walking around the room, Sam came up and I just said, go and hang out with them and spend some time with your baby. And I, uh, there was really not much direction going on. I just kind of hovered around them and, you know, snapped what I thought looked cool. After a little while, I said, I'm just going to move this chair over here by the sunlight. And, you know, it looked cool with the plant in the background. So we got a photo or two um, with them just sitting there as well. And then just the way the room was set out, it looked really awesome with the bed, how they had it all planned out. So I said, just go and jump on the bed and, um, and just spend some time with them again. It's really all about just spending time with them and going about their normal day. I find people feel really comfortable when you're just letting them do, you know, what they would usually do. Uh, and you see I was kind of centered right in the middle as much as I could with straight lines. I did straighten the lines a little bit afterwards because I didn't have it exactly perfect, so I'll show you the before and after for this photo. But as long as the camera was kind of level, I just wasn't exactly straight onto the windows. So I corrected that in post as well. So then we took him downstairs. It's quite a different vibe. There's not really that um, orange wood that they have upstairs. And she just sat in there next to the window. One thing I did make sure was that we turned the lights off because it just, it's a different color tone than the window light coming in. So I do that with weddings as well. I'll usually try and turn any overhead lights off if they're like a really weird color. Most of them are really orange and it just contrasts with the window light and it's quite hard to balance sometimes. So we turned that off and just had the window light going. And then I thought I would open up the doors and just run outside and get a photo of them sitting there in the window, uh, just all relaxed. And it kind of gives you a vibe of how the house is, more of an environmental kind of portrait. 
So you can see what I'm talking about in this room where I didn't turn the lights off. I don't know why I just didn't think about it. Um, but it's not really bad. Uh, you know, they weren't really super orange, but I did have to balance it a little bit with the white balance tool. And uh, yeah, Sam was on the phone, so I just said to Emma, go and sit next to him, and when he's off the phone in a minute, we'll take a few more in there, because I really like that room as well. Really nice, clean walls. Sam had this real sweet mirror made uh, with River's name on it, uh, which I noticed on the wall, so I got a, a little photo of that. I stopped down the aperture to like F4, I think, just so it wasn't totally out of focus. Uh, but you can still see what was going on. In these photos, I was just holding my camera up over the top of the heads with the screen folded out like that and, um, you know, just shooting what was going on down there. And then we went back upstairs and just shot a few more photos. Um, she was going to feed him soon, so uh, we just went upstairs again and got some photos of them just chilling out on the bed together. You can see in a lot of the photos, uh, they're not looking at me. I usually instruct people not to look at me unless I want them to. Uh, but, you know, things like this happen quite a lot where something funny will happen or somebody, somebody will say something funny and one of them will look up and laugh and that just makes a really great photo and it's really natural, so I love that. I think it was quite important. Guys don't usually like to get photos taken of themselves quite often anyway, I find. Uh, maybe it's just a Kiwi guy thing, I don't know, but uh, I really wanted to get some photos with Sam just hanging out with his family as well. He's a really cool dude. And then I just got some photos of Sam hanging out with his boy, changing his clothes uh, before I took off. So that's pretty much it. It's all really, for me anyway, you know, I'm definitely not your classic kind of newborn photographer. I don't, like I said, I don't do it a lot. But to me, I just kind of document it as if it was just a normal day around the family. You know, we're not posing anything. It's just, I don't know, these memories to me is what I would want to hang on my wall. Uh, rather than, you know, something that's more studio orientated. Uh, but every client is going to have different needs. And when people want something like that, the baby in the basket thing, I usually just recommend somebody else because I'm just really not good at it and I don't enjoy it. So that's how I do a newborn session. And uh, yeah, I've got two weddings this weekend. So hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage from that and we'll make some more videos. So thanks heaps for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of you that follow my channel and comment aren't subscribed to my channel. And that really does help me out. So subscribe to the channel if you really like what I'm doing here. And I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Thank you.